Hi everyone, Jamshed Reza is here one, with one of new tutorial and yesterday I faced some problem that in C drive I had no more space and whenever I was clicking for any software working on graphic designing then I find that the low space is not letting me to do anything neither I can install any software further nor I can work on any software then I find one method we can just take some of space from our dead drive and we can include that in our C drive and therefore now you can see that I have 99.9 .9 GB of free space which I have added yesterday I uh, how I have done that I will show you each and every step and you will learn easily and you will get a more space to your C drive for that I'm using Windows 10 and here when you are going to open your any folder then you find that this PC you are going to right click in here and you will get option manage click that one and after that you will get a dialog box with computer management here you can see the storage and in storage you have to click disk management now in disk management you can see we have both C and E drive and I am going to take some space from that E drive and I will include that to my C drive now how we are going to do that just right click in your E drive and you are going to shrink the volume and for the pur purpose of this tutorial I am going to take nearly um, 2 GB which maybe we have in MB which will be 200 or 2000 MB and it will be 2 GB I will shrink that volume and now you can see that I have 1.95 GB allocated because in 1 GB we have 1024 MB and I have just uh, uh, neglected the 24 therefore we are getting um, 1.95 GB now right click in here and you will get new simple volume and just click next and everything is fine here just click next and just let the default value here as well and click next and click next and finish and now you will see that your color is now changed and we have logical drive which is in blue color once again we are just going to right click on that one and we delete the volume and click this and you will see that now it is green and now if I'm going to right click in that one and let me show you once again okay we are just going to delete the partition once again yes and we now you can see we have the extend volume it means when I'm going to click the extend volume that uh, 1.95 GB will include in C drive but I don't want that to be included in C drive uh, in E drive we want that to be in C drive now let's do again you can see that extend volume is disabled now what is the problem whenever you are going to shrink any space from any drive it will move towards right side and you can just extend the volume or the space which is in right side now in right side we do not have unallocated space c drive that there is nothing and we can also not move that in center of c and e therefore it is not possible now how we are going to do let me just show you first with e drive we are just going to expand that and you can see we have 103.71 GB now everything is fine just do it and now you can check that we have uh, 405.66 GB and we can extend the E drive but the problem is that we are going to just take the space from E and we are going to add that to C now again let me just shrink that one and this time we are going to take 2 GB and shrink that and now you find that unlocated uh, that is here 
and further we have one software which I'm going to show you that is Ease US Partition Master 12.0 I will just also include the link of that software in my description of that video then you can easily download that from description when you download that you have to install that one and when you are going to install you have to just open that software now we when you are going to open that software then you will find something similar to this one and you can check that we have uh, c drive we have e drive and we have unlocated file which is in here now just right click on your e drive and just move that and i can just move that little bit here you can see we have space here and when I'm going to move that, that space will come here. Now press OK. And now you can check unlocated file is here. After that, you are just going to press apply and just say I uh, operation is currently pending. Apply the change now. You are going to just press yes. And now it will just make some progress and it will make the problem and it will solve the drive for you right now now let's see we have 29 uh, proceed and right now we have just completed five and remember that when you are going to just uh, attempt that procedure as much as you have space you are going to just add to c drive it will take that much time therefore if you have uh, maybe 100 gb you are going to take from your e drive and you are going to just include in c drive then it will take a lot of more time but don't worry about that okay now let's wait and see that how it will work okay we are in final procedure and you can see that everything is just working and now 100% completed and we have 99 or percent which is completed right now and 100% completed just press ok has been executed successfully ok we are just going to say ok and now we are just going to come to our disk manager or disk management and you can see now we have successfully got that space in between our C and E. Now it is in right of C, then therefore we can extend C right now. Let's just extend that. We have uh, 292 GB space. Now extend that one. Next. Next. And remember we are adding two more GB and it may be uh, 94, 294 GB. And finish. Now you can see we got 294 GB and we got that 2 GB from our e drive I hope you have got some basic idea from that tutorial and you can just add uh, as much as space from your C drive as you required now let me just show you now uh, we just refresh that one and now you can check that 294 GB is here I hope you have just got that question and you have just find the answer and if you like that video please thumbs up that video and if you have any problem you can just write that in comment box and if you have not subscribed yet please thumbs up that video comment and subscribe as soon as possible and stay tuned for more amazing video thank you everyone